Well, good morning to you. In August, Cincinnati Country Day School asked its upper and its middle school students to turn in their cell phones every single morning. I spoke with students, parents, and faculty about what they found. I think friendships are deeper. I think connections are deeper. I think students are talking to other students that maybe they would have never talked to before in a free bell because they had their phone and they could just be by themselves. If you take a walk through Cincinnati Country Day School, you'll see students mingling with each other during free periods. But there's something different. There's not a cell phone in sight. Taking out the cell phones, I think I've seen a lot more um, uh, a positive impact in our culture here. Uh, and I think that I, I, love, I love what it's done to our school and our environment here. After the first bell every morning, students at the upper and middle schools are required to turn in their cell phones. The phones are then kept for the entire school day. We had studied this issue for, for a few years and based on our own experience, frankly based on my own experience as a parent of a couple of children and also based on a lot of research, it, it, was, it was increasingly clear to us that phones in schools had some potential negative effects, that they could uh, drive increased rates of anxiety or depression, that they could uh, cause distraction and limit academic achievement, and that they could also get in the way of some really important in-person interactions that are vital to a thriving community and certainly to the growth and development of teens and young people. Head of school Rob Zimmerman says the students still use tablet computers in class and have access to landline phones in case of an emergency. He says safety was a top priority the school considered before the policy was put in place. We also asked that question ahead of time before we implemented the policy and got good advice from local law enforcement, from national school safety experts indicating that actually phones can uh, hinder safety in the event of an emergency, that really the last thing they want is kids to be distracted, to be spreading misinformation or receiving misinformation, identifying their location, or causing uh, folks to crowd streets when we need them clear for emergency personnel. So although it's not the reason for the policy change, we do believe this, uh, if anything, makes us safer in the event of an emergency. Zimmerman says he expected to see a positive impact in learning and social interactions, but what he didn't expect was the community's response. While some students say they were skeptical of the policy at first, they tell me they feel more productive and have closer friendships with classmates. I go home with little to no homework now, getting it done in my free bells. Um, you see kids outside in the amphitheater playing spike ball, cornhole, throwing the football, um, meeting with teachers more um, instead of being sucked on their phone, scrolling in TikTok and when they're not in class. Parents, too, seeing the positive impacts. So I just really see the social benefits as a parent. I think it's great. I think it's nice also from a parent perspective knowing that your kids are going somewhere for, you know, eight hours of the day where they're not constantly bombarded with, you know, stuff that they don't need to know about or, you know, notifications and that kind of thing. So it's, it's nice to know that they're away from that. Now, Zimmerman says that he knows this policy might not work for every school. He credits the success of it to the students' discipline and the school's trust-based community. He says the policy will continue moving forward. For now, live in Indian Hill, Annie Brown, Local 12 News. Annie, thank you. The National Center for Education Statistics reports 77% of U.S. schools moved to ban cell phones for non-academic purposes as of 2020. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.